Hi, this is Anaya. Welcome to the channel. Let us first thank the Most High for this time is grace, kindness, and mercy. Today I'm going to go over this movie. Does anybody remember Death Becomes Her? It turns 30 this year. So this is basically a few clips from the movie. On guard. It was great to be evil and naughty and just let it fly. <laughs> I don't usually get to, to play. So these ladies took a drink of a potion that helped them live forever and they kept getting all these injuries to their body but they just were still alive so it was like kind of like what everybody is assuming that's going to happen in the future here. Walking zombies. Plus I also had a dream the other night about that zombie man walking through the grocery store aisle. But anyways, this is back to the movie. Straight ahead, sort of bimbo villain. So she was this out and out, you know, bad girl. This time, she is. <gasps> Before Meryl was cast as fiance stealing actress Madeline, she actually wanted the role that went to Goldie. I was sort of stumped. <laughs> they want me to play the old uh, song and dance girl with the platinum wig. You know, it's not my image, sort of. I have a hole in my stomach! Yeah. And you're still alive. How about that character? How about the idea of living forever? And no one wants to go away. In the dark comedy, Goldie's out for revenge on her former friend, but they both take the same potion that promises immortality and turns them into the living dead. The fight is all over a man, a doctor played by Bruce Willis. I see a very, very bad situation developing here. He's just a pathetic guy. He's just a little slow, that's all. all right. Did you have fun uh, like that? Oh, yeah, I had a ball. And it was exciting, it was challenging, it was new things, it was special effects which was, you know, a new area for us, for all of us. Yeah, the movie won an Oscar for those special effects and made history as the first film to CGI human skin. So I fall down the stairs and I break my neck in several places and my head is... So, human skin. <clears throat> I was looking at this number 30. Death becomes her turns 30. And the Strong's 30 is a vessel, a container. So that's what these ladies basically were. vessels. The verse that goes with that is Matthew 13 48 which when it was full they drew it to shore <clears throat> and sat down and gathered the good into the vessels but cast the bad away so shall it be at the end of the world the angel shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth so head is on backwards, but I'm still alive. You pushed me down the stairs. Ah! Oh! 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 And cut. I wore a bag over my head. And then my mother was on the set that day. For this, they paid this money. <laughs> Did the whole scene like this, you know, the bag. I just have to make a telephone call. Six weeks or I don't know how long later, I went back and replicated the performance that I'd done backwards strapped in a chair and then they took my face put it on top of the backwards body as for this iconic scene that's actually an animatronic puppet this thing stands up into frame and you suddenly realize that she's got this hole through it that was totally uncalled for E.T. went behind the scenes with the geniuses who created the Goldie and Meryl robots. Oh, I'll tell you about pain! Meryl pulls her head up and snaps it back into flight. And to do that, we had several different puppets. Some other secrets from set? During this spade duel, Meryl accidentally left a scar on Goldie's face. And... I was strapped to harness for the falling off the stairs thing, and part of that is me. Part of it is a stunt woman wearing a sort of a scuba suit. The stairs were constructed to be steeper than real stairs. So at one point, um, I did a fall for them that was not scripted. I really fell down the stairs. 